What's going on everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tom here, we're getting back into Secret Invasion, it's episode 4 today, and I've got to tell you what, that this uh, series has been pretty slow, I mean it's moving pretty slow, the story's pretty slow, I mean there is sort of a, a decent story building, but it's just, there's nothing dynamic about it, I mean we've got good cast, we've got some old characters in the way of Fury and Talos, but you know it's still lacks sort of vibrance to the show so far, I mean there's definitely the elements in it, you've got some action, got some drama, the plot's not too bad so far, I mean there's a little bit of mystery in there, there's a bit of the whole spy game going on, but it is definitely not dynamic like what we've come to see from the previous phases of Marvel anyway, and I think this is, might just be the tone of this particular phase that Marvel's in at the moment, I'm not too sure, but I mean shows like Loki and that, you know, they had a bit more dynamic appeal to them, I mean the dynamic between Fury and Talos is great, they have a lot of fun, the banter back and forth is always quite uh, good to watch, you know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, apart from that, I mean, we're pretty much halfway through the series, if I'm not mistaken, I think this will either be an 8 or a 10 episode run, I'm guessing 8, and you know, we've really got to see something pick up and something really jump out at us, because I don't believe that we've seen that so far anyway. But anyway guys, let's just get straight into this episode, and hopefully we see something decent. Oh, that's right, because we saw um, Gravik kill Gaia, right? So that's like, that's going to piss Talos off something mega. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, I thought it was a bit strange that she'd get shot. Did she give herself something? Oh! I didn't expect this. I knew someone would save her somehow. But she's got the extremist kind of thing in her, and that kind of reminds me of extremists back in Iron Man 3, I think it was. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, this is better already, right? I, I didn't think that her character could get eliminated so quickly, I mean, it seems like she's a pivotal character in this series anyway. Alright, well that was off to a good start, so uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what's happening. Fingers crossed, it might be better than we expected. Oh, that's right, I forgot, she's a traitor as well. As I was watching all the news coverage of those guys' heroics over in the States, I kept having this feeling that someone I know had something to do with getting them all together. He understands that home is worth fighting for. Good book. It's a collection of poems. You read the first line. And did you get what you wanted from this life? Even so. I did. And what did you want? To feel myself beloved on the earth. I mean, you can't really blame her though, right? Because she was left high and dry basically by Fury, so she had to survive somehow. So it makes sense that she'd go back to Gravik. I mean, that's her son anyway. I'm the one telling you to kill Fury. One of the two occupants of that lovely country manor of yours is catching a bullet today. You can flip a coin for all I care. It's not real roads. He's been broken ever since he came back from the blip. We don't need to kill him. Okay. You keep telling me what you're not going to do. I'm going to show you what I am going to. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. So that wasn't the real Rhodey. So where's Rhodey at then? It is a reason Gaia isn't here with us. I've already taken care of her. Remember, we want him to think it's the Russians. Make it big and loud like the Russians would. And I don't need your sorrow or your pity for anything I did of my own free will. The reason I'm with you now is because with you, Dad, it's the only answer to the question of where I belong. The only thing that I need wow. from you is a plan. Right. He hasn't really got one yet. What is your plan for finding our people a home? Because Gravik has already implemented his. He's got to step up now. We take down the insurgency. We go to the present. And we tell him to save your planet and wait and see what can happen next. That's not the best plan. Don't yeah, they're not going to buy it. live in your own skin? Gaia, we're a people without a planet. We depend on the goodwill of our hosts. Show them our hearts. I don't think most of the rest of us people are going to have faith in that plan. You're delusional, and that is not who I've become. Yeah, she doesn't want to bow down. They want to stand strong and proud. He's the only one that's prepared to be humble like this. It's good to see a bit more of her story. So she's torn. She still actually like loves him. be home until later. But he'd need a weapon against her because she's a scroll, so she's stronger than he is. Of all the dumbass things I've done, you are by far the greatest. Even now, as I sit here knowing you plan to kill me with that pistol of yours, I don't know that I'd do anything different. Right, he followed his heart with her. Would you tell me the story about 
how you chose her. I would visit her in her room almost every day towards the end. I had to acknowledge the truth. Which was? Looking for someone who would slip your defenses. I decided to just come out and ask. You asked? I asked if she wanted to fall in love. She made me make her three promises that I would bury her at sea, which I did. That I would continue to be a daughter to her parents. And you've also done. That I would never hurt you. She's a little to her promises. That's interesting. And did you get what you wanted from this life, even so? I did. Same as before, she wanted to be loved. To call myself beloved. Oh, okay. I'm not sure if this means we should get divorced or we should <laughs> renew our vows. Awesome. <laughs> They'll be coming for you. He needs to take care of her. Where's the real roadie? They've got him locked up. You mind telling me what the hell you're doing in here? I didn't like the way we left things between us the other day. I figured we could settle our beef like, you know, proper gentlemen. Oh, mind you, they assume Should all the memories, right? Poison? poison? Nano trackers. <laughs> Nano trackers. <laughs> you want to tell me the real reason you're here? I stopped by. You broke in. To tell you that there is a scroll mole very close to the president. As close as you and I are right now. Up closer. You're bent, dude. All you got to do to keep my mouth shut about all this, give me my job back. You see this all right? And that's you. That's graphic. The alien defense, good luck with that. I'm gonna do everything in my power to protect you, but I can't have you running around spouting wild conspiracies. Now, tell you what, why don't you hobble your ancient ass on out of here before I have you defenestrated? Whoa. This all makes more sense now about why we've seen that asshole version of Rody. Liquid location tracker. Welcome to England, Mr. President. Correct. Uh, there's a full briefing book for you inside Stagecoach. The key thing about the Russians is you have to project strength. Did you uh, pre-game for our bilateral with the Russians with the half a bottle of bourbon? <laughs> uh, let's make sure the colonel here has a large coffee for the road. <laughs> Give me a mint. Citadel is in position number four. He is, he's coming to attack directly. Holy crap. Holy shit, he's not making around. He's making it look like the Russians did it. This is a well orchestrated setup, isn't it? Good pilot. Oh, shit. How the hell, Fury? It's a kill zone. I reckon he's going to end up being left standing there as if he's the one that caused it. There's a lot of men there to try and take out. Fury's here. He's going to double his fury again. Set him up. Oh, shit. He's not fucking around. I got this. Stand back, man. Whoa. They're grunty. Take care of Talos. <laughs> I oh, can't turn if he turns, I know. He's a bloody alien, he's trying to get to Richard! No, he's with me! He's with us! Mean. President Tyler Vanko! Come with the president! Taylor! Come on. I still smell a setup though. Put him down. Ah, okay. Said, 
put him down. Oh. No! Right. This is like the extremist technology that, um, what's his name had? Holy shit. All right, guys. Well, um, I was wrong about that episode. It was pretty good. It was short, but um, definitely picked up the pace a lot more. We're, we're getting to see this really clear picture of Gravik and, and just how extreme he is for his goal. And I mean, if you're leading the whole thing, of course, you're going to be extreme about it. I didn't realize that technology is similar to the extremist technology we saw back in the Iron Man movies, right? I forget the guy's name. Was it Killian or whoever it was that had it? And so I wonder if that's the same sort of technology that's been further developed and all that kind of thing definitely i saw a little bit of it on the computer there when gaia actually went and put it into herself or whatever she did and so uh yeah i didn't expect talos to be killed i mean he's done which is a shame because he's been around for a long time with him out of the picture we see, we're going to see a whole different show because he's the one that was really keeping smaller remainder of his population in check really with his idealistic thing that he could earn humans trust to coexist side by side I think most of them probably feel like if they can't be welcomed right now by humanity for who they are and get somewhere to live, that they're all just going to take it. So I think Gravik was always on a winning foot that way because everyone sort of has that like mind. Um, I mean, there are so many ramifications, though. I mean, there was only that one soldier that saw that Talos was working with Fury. Evil Rhodey could easily turn everyone against Fury yet again. So, I mean, I wonder what's going to happen there. Definitely picked up a little bit more. So, I mean, like I said, we're halfway through. Hopefully these remaining episodes we get to see a really more dynamic pace. Similar to this would be good. I love the twist that Rhodey is actually a Skrull. And, and that sort of points back to right in the beginning, isn't it, where we really don't know who's who, who's a Skrull and who's themselves. Does that mean they've got him locked up somewhere in that same facility? You know, because obviously they've taken his memories and all that kind of stuff. So, but uh, yeah, definitely a tricky situation. The fact that anyone in any position of power could be a scroll definitely uh that, that sort of piqued my interest a little bit more restored a bit of my faith in the show so yeah hopefully we get to see more of it guys um but anyway guys let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode it might be worth sticking around to watch the show if you were thinking of jumping off i almost did judging by this episode i'd say that we might be in for something that might not exactly be a huge wow factor kind of show but we'll definitely make it an interesting sort of uh wind up to the end anyway but that's going to be it for me guys on this video. I'm out and I'll catch you on the next episode.